So in this video, we're gonna be creating this grunge around the corners of windows using textures. No ambient occlusion, pure texture, and we're gonna create that texture from scratch within Blender. So we could do this in Photoshop or Affinity or Credo or whatever, but we're gonna do everything in Blender because we're a Blender channel, so let's do it in Blender. Now, delete the default cube, delete the light. With the camera, I'm gonna press Alt-R, Alt-G to reset the rotation and location. GZ, bring that puppy up. And then over into the camera settings, we're gonna change it from perspective to orthographic. And the orthographic scale, I'm gonna make two. Go into the render settings while we're here. Let's go 2048 by 2048. So that's gonna be the size of our texture. In the main viewport, shift A, mesh, plane. Nice. Let's open up the shading, bring it in, new material, right. From here, I've already got Node Wrangler enabled, Control T, we need to add in an image. Now you can use any grungy image, um, maybe image of dirt. However, I'm just going to use one of my alpha textures. Sorry, alpha maps, link in the description if you want these, but dirt is fine. Or if you want, they're all available on Patreon. Seamless 21, so if we have a look, lovely. Now what we kind of want to do is we want to have the central bit blank. Right, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's move this over. We're going to go Shift A, Search, gradient and we want a gradient texture we're going to dump that one in there we're going to change this from linear to spherical and we're going to change the texture coordinates yep you still see me the texture coordinates uh, to object yes beautiful so it's creating a circle around the origin point which is exactly what we want now if i were to go gradient texture we throw that one into there you'll see how we've got a nice little sphere we can probably just leave it as is however let's go into a color ramp and we'll put this one in here the white is where the texture is going to be, which is not what we want. So if I do the drop down and go flip color ramp, now the black is where it's going to be transparent. Yes, and transparency is what we want. So if I were to go, for instance, like this, it'll be a lot more grungier around the outside. Well, so technically we can make the central point a lot thicker. However, what I like to do is we'll change the white, a little bit more gray. And so I can show you this by putting this into the alpha, and then that becomes see-through. So from here, let's disconnect the vector on the image. And we want to kind of like combine these two here. So let's go into a search and we're going to go into a mix. Mix, nope. Shift A search and we're going to do mix color. Dump that one into there. Color goes into there. We don't really see a lot. For now, let's just add in a sun lamp. Let's move that off to the side, please. So we can kind of see our grunge texture starting to come together. So if we bring in the white, we can see how the hole closes. However, if we increase the black, we can see how we're pulling that all back. Rather than having pure white, because I don't want the pure texture to be there, I am just gonna make it a bit of a gray, just so it kind of like fades off a little bit nicer. Rather than a mix, let's go subtract, and we just play with that value a little bit like that. So now we can see that kind of like on the outside here, that we do have that grungy space. Um, if we really want to, we can go into another mix color. Into there, buddy. Let's go into a brown, a little bit of a darky brownish color. Nice. So this is why kind of like any dirt texture would even work but we've got our, what we're after, pretty much. So if I press numpad zero, the camera is now aligned perfectly into a square, as we set up earlier. Let's click on the render tab, let's click on film and transparent. Um, we can do this in Eevee, let's have a look. Yep, that's looking good. <laughs> Some writing in the top left, that's hilarious. Let's now go image, save as, and we're just gonna call this one grunge window, grunge window, save image, done. Easy. Now this is what we'll make on the live stream last Sunday. I've kind of been building it up throughout the week. Um, however, let's kind of like now focus on the glass texture in here. I am gonna switch back to Eevee for now, just so it kind of like loads a little bit better. And also this material setup is nothing but textures using Dream UV, got a whole pack on that. But let's focus on the window now. From here up into the shading tab, and obviously we can see that I've got a very simple glass setup, not what I want. Let's go new material, and I'm gonna call this glass underscore two. From here, Control T to add in an image texture, open, grunge window, bam. However, now we actually have to UV unwrap this thing. Very, very simple. Over into UV editing, we can see that I've got a mirror modifier. It's gonna look a little bit iffy, and technically we can get away with it, but I am just going to apply the mirror modifier for now. Let's go tab into edit mode. Our grunge material is here. You can very faintly see it. We select all, U, UV unwrap. We can see that it's kind of in a weird state that's not what we want i kind of want it to be almost like a flat piece so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to select all these edges scale oops scale on the y scale on the x scale on the x and scale on the y so we've got a cube let's select that cube and then a to select everything right click follow active quads and now we've got a nice line awesome what we're going to do now is i'm just going to kind of like put this in a nice position here let's kind of bring it down so it's a bit of a square nice 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 and now if we kind of go into a material 
we can see how that material works and how it kind of gives that bit of a grunge in the corners. So let's go ahead now and fix it up for all these other pieces. I'm going to select this window and then we can bring it here, scale it up. And it's kind of a very simple process for each panel. Um, you know, bit of your choice and how you want to do it. Uh, this one here, technically I probably should split it, but you know what? I don't think anyone's going to be that pedantic. Awesome. And then we go ahead and do it on the other side. Cool, and we've got that's looking pretty good. However, back into the shading editor, let's now grab our alpha, plug it into the alpha because it is an alpha, and then we can see now have got very faint grunge in the corners. Just to add a little bit more to it, we're going to go ahead and add in a glass node after our principal BDSF mix shader, bam, and bam. Uh, we might actually put that one above; doesn't really matter. And then from here, what I'm going to do is we'll just increase the size of the uh, principal BDSF to probably about 0.9. And now when we jump into cycles, let's do control numpad zero to bring the camera to view. F12, let's see how thick it is. We might have to come back and make the colors a little bit thicker, but the grunge is there. But yeah, it's definitely not as dirty as I want. So back into this one, let's make it all a little bit more thicker. We'll bring the white back up. I think it's a bit too extreme, but there we go. F12, nice image, save as. Just save over the previous one. There we go. Control S to save. I just go file open recent. We can now see how that grunge in power and powers <laughs> goes through around the windows. Just adding a little bit of extra pizzazzle. I was gonna say jizz, but that sounds wrong. 